1993, I began to want to convert my wife to Islam. I happened to have fallen in love with a Mexican-American. And boy, they can knock you off your feet. <laughs> they make good wives. But I was fighting with my wife like cats and dogs because we were not compatible. She was Catholic and I was Muslim. We were fighting all the time. I learned fairly quickly that in the United States of America, it's the guy that hits the couch. And I was spending a lot of time on the couch. And I was... I said, why am I spending all this time on the couch? My mother used to sleep separately from my father all the time. I never knew why my mom and dad slept separately. I finally realized, my mother told me, she says, if a woman is disobedient in Islam, then her husband must never sleep with her in bed. I think you know what I'm talking about. My mother said that was the best punishment I've ever received. <laughs> Sleeping separately from my wife, I remember one time I began to reach out to pray to God. I said, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I wanted to address God in a way that was acceptable in both Christianity and Islam. We both believed he was the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, show me the truth. I seek the truth. Show me the truth and I will do your will in my life. I will die for you. I will do anything for you. <coughs> you know what happens when you pray in the name of the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? You dial the right number. I dialed the right number. Somebody else picked up on the other side. And a hunger, because I was a doubting Thomas, a hunger came into my heart to want to begin to study the Bible, supposedly to prove to my wife the corruptions in the Bible so I can convert her to Islam. I said, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, show me if the Quran is the truth, because I think it is the truth. You show me. And I thought, that the Quran will outweigh the Bible. I began to compare and it took hundreds of hours. Of, I spent a year comparing the Bible with the Quran. I began to see the story in the garden. I began to look at the relationship between the devil and the woman. I will put enmity between you and the woman. Not the man, the woman. Why? The hatred of Satan will be towards the woman, towards the wife. Why? Because the woman brought forth the seed of the Messiah. The woman brought forth that one man that redeems the world. He hates the production of whoever produces the Messiah. He hated that woman. I began to understand that the God of the Bible loves the woman, has a special honor for the woman. Because Muhammad said the woman has half a brain. <laughs> In fact, most Christians, when they read their Bible, they do not understand why. Why does it say the Antichrist, he will not honor the desire of women? He doesn't say he doesn't desire women. He says he does not honor the desire of women. He doesn't care about women's wants and needs. He does not respect their rights. Who does not honor the desire of women today? I began to see that he honors a God of war. Who's honoring the God of war today? What does jihad mean after all? He will honor him with gold, silver, and precious stones. I don't have to tell these gentlemen about what that means. Zakah is one of the main pillars of Islam, that you honor Allah, the God of jihad, with the gold and the silver and your finances, all these things. But when I began to read the Bible, I began to see what was evil in the Bible was holy to me. And what was holy to me was evil in the Bible because Islam came as a thesis to destroy the Christian message that God came down to earth and died on the cross, that God was a triune God. By the time I reached to second, first John 2 John 2.22, what did I read? Who is the liar? He who denies that Jesus is the Christ. He is antichrist that denies the Father and the Son. He is antichrist that denies the Father. And denies the son. I began to see the relationship, the difference, the comparative analysis between what's in the Bible as far as the definition of God and the definition of Allah. 
Allah had 99 names in the Quran. Some of those names come right from the Bible. One of the names of Allah is Al-Makir, the great deceiver. Al-Jabbar, the oppressor. Al-Mumit, the one who causes death. Who caused death in the garden? Al-Makir, the great deceiver. Al-Mutakabbir, the most proud one. Al-Mumit, the one who causes death. Why is the devil of the Bible my God? Who did Muhammad meet after all? And the whole story is I'm writing a new book. Just comparing all the new stuff. Just comparing how Muhammad ascended unto heaven. Why in the story of the ascension of Muhammad, Al-Isra wal Mi'raj, that Muhammad had to ascend into heaven? Because in Isaiah it told us, you said in your heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will be like the Most High. Muhammad means the praised one. How could it be that a name of a prophet be the praised one? I began to see the connections. I began to see that Islam was wounded and wants to heal its wound. I began to look at the verses in the Bible and began to see what Jesus will do when he comes down to earth. In fact, if I leave tonight, this is all I want you to remember. Jesus. In Isaiah 63, all you Americans agree that that's messianic. Who is he who comes with his garments from Edom, sprinkled with blood? Edom is a Muslim country, they're a world. In fact, Ezekiel 25 tells us that Edom is from Timan to Dedan, from Jordan all the way to Arabia. Christ is coming out of Arabia with his garments sprinkled with blood, fighting who? I began to see the necessity of supporting Israel in the Bible, the people that I hated. I began to see what the Bible was making me do is to love my enemy, the Jews. Yeah, I know many of you does not understand God's position of Israel. But let me tell you something. If God loves Jews, I love Jews too. And you can spell it any way you want. You can spell it J double O double O Z and put it in your bumper sticker. I love Jews. <laughs> I was in the Arab TV today, and Arab Christians don't like Israel that much. And I say, I'm sorry if I tell you my testimony that I love Jews. What did Jesus do for me? He made me love Jews. Everything Jews, Jews, Jews. <laughs> if you don't love Jews, I feel sorry for you. Because Antichrist comes to divide the land for gain. It's in the Bible. He will divide the land of Israel for gain. In Joel chapter 3, most Christians don't know even Christ will judge the nations. I will gather all nations into the valley of Jehoshaphat. And then I will enter into judgment with them on the account of my people, my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations. They have also divided up my land. Divided up my land. You don't care about the land? Okay. Antichrist wants to give Jerusalem to the Muslims. Antichrist wants to give Jerusalem to the Muslims. And you support giving Jerusalem to the Muslims. What side are you on? Are you on the side of Christ? Or are you on the side of Antichrist? You can't love Antichrist decisions and love Christ because Christ said, if you love me, you will obey my commandments. He said, I will send you as sheep amongst wolves. If you have no wolves in your lives, perhaps you were never sheep.